All right, hello YouTube. This is Ryan and I'm the developer of OODA. OODA is a brand new step sequencer for iOS and Mac OS that I think has some pretty unique interactive and semi-generative features. In this video, we're gonna get it up and running in the host app AUM. We're gonna record a basic sequence and use some of OODA's main unique features. There are more videos in this playlist where I kind of dive deeper into things for those that are interested. And if you like what I'm doing, um, please subscribe to the channel and you can kind of stay in tune with updates that I put out and other apps that I work on. So um, let's dive in. We're in the host app AUM and I've got OODA loaded up as an audio unit plugin on a MIDI channel. So if you don't know how to do that, uh, you can just hit the plus, hit MIDI, uh, hit the plus again, and Uda's going to show up in your audio unit MIDI processor list. Uh, but I've already done that, so let's just take a look at Uda. Um, let's try to make sense of what's on the window. So we've got this little panel of sequencer settings, which controls kind of the sequencers advancing through the available steps. We've got this wormhole patcher, which I think is Uda's probably most unique feature, which allows you to connect steps conditionally uh, to create variation in your sequences. We have a grid uh, for recording our step sequences into. There are some action buttons for live interaction with the sequence. And we have a voice panel that is very similar to the one found in Zoa. So let's start by creating a sequence. OODA is not totally generative, so we can't just hit play. We have to record some notes into it. We do have uh, an in-app keyboard, or we can just send MIDI notes into OODA. And I'll do that with AUM's keyboard. Now I do want to send OODA's MIDI output to this house mark one here. So let's do that. And uh, to record, we'll just hit the record button and play a few notes. Okay. Let's turn off recording and let's just hit play. Okay, so pretty vanilla. Um, Let's take a look at the first unique feature of OODA, which is that the sequencer pace is decoupled from the paces of the voices. So let's actually uh, set this pace setting to maybe be 16th dotted notes and hear what we have. We can change it on the fly. So Uda's voice will play basically whatever note happens to be available on the active step. This allows us to do some fun things with uh, the action buttons. Using bump, we can temporarily lock the voice into the pace of the sequencer. Shift will shift by the shift amount. Those can be uh, configured as latching buttons in the settings menu. All right, let's also take a look at, at wormholes. So if I just go back and kind of realign the sequencer pace. On these first four steps, I've got kind of a one chord arpeggio playing, and then on the last four steps, I've got like a four chord arpeggio. So I'm actually gonna use a wormhole to conditionally repeat this first four notes. So what let's do is let's uh, take the source. Every wormhole has a source. 
And uh, we can either, for updating the source, we can just tap on steps, or we can press and hold like that. And let's set the destination uh, back to step one. So every wormhole has a source that goes to a destination based on a rule. Okay, so in this case, we're when we get to step four, we're always going to go to step one. So now let's change the rule. So we can see that with this rule set the 2x, the first two times we visit this wormhole, we're going to go to the destination, but the next time we're going to go to the next step or the normal step. So this allows you to kind of create A and B sections. You can even in your 64 step create like independent loops that are isolated that you can switch between. It's a very flexible way to add variation and structure to your sequences and you can do a lot with a little creativity when it comes to wormholes. Make sure you take a look at the factory presets. Uh, my friend Corey, who is Solift, um, made a lot of those and he makes really good use of, of the wormholes in his, in his presets. So thanks for watching. This is, like I said, just a quick getting up and running. If you want to dive deep into all of the features, we have more tutorial videos uh, in, in this playlist. Thanks for checking it out. If you like Uda, please leave a review. It really helps kind of the long-term outlook of the app. So have a good rest of your day and have fun making music.